financial advice. Despite fierce opposition from the Labour Party, legislation which allows prisons to be privatised was pushed through under urgency today in Parliament. The contentious bill passed on a vote of 68 to 53. Unionist and former co-leader of the Alliance, Victor Billow, joins me now to give his thoughts on the move. Good evening, Victor. Hi. Did the passing of this bill come as a surprise to you? Well, not really. I mean, I think the uh, National Party has the numbers at the moment and they're set on a course to do these things and they have a few kind of uh, outfits here which are giving them some support for these bad ideas, so um, it wasn't really a surprise. What's your personal perspective on the bill? Well, I think it's a bit of a worry. I mean, uh, it's a prison privatisation is one of those old things that is coming back from the bad old days in the 1990s, a bit like the ACC issue, really. Um, I don't really think that uh, most New Zealanders would think that um, prisons should be operated by uh, private companies for profit. I mean, they're a part of our community, not exactly uh, the best part of it, but uh, the community has a responsibility to supply those services. They shouldn't be run as a business. Has the union taken a stance on this one? Well, the unions nationally uh, have been opposed to um, the privatisation of prisons. I mean, that's an ongoing uh, position, I, th I believe, for the Council of Trade Unions, and it's certainly, you know, the view of the Maritime Union that we shouldn't be um, privatising uh, these type of uh, uh, public institutions. Do you view the government as transferring accountability here? Well, that's what it's about, really. I mean, and that's what it comes down to. There's a principle at point here. Um, it's the justice system. And I don't think that um, making money has a, has a role to play in that because, I mean, if you're running a prison I mean, what do you, uh, and you're running it as a profit-making enterprise, what do you want? You want more prisoners. I mean, it's, uh, it's a, the motive is to um, have more prisoners in there. I think that is a serious concern. And also the fact we would be turning it over to just um, global corporations. It's part of our society that I don't think that has, has a role. Now, Judith Collins has said that the Corrections Department aren't expected to tender but will be given a chance to do so. What do you think it would mean if the Department did decide to place a bid? Well, I mean, it just what it says to me is that we're back into the kind of nonsense kind of uh, uh, scenario where the government uh, department, which is responsible for uh, looking after prisoners and keeping them secure and, and keeping them away from the community while they're serving their sentences, will be having to get into some kind of commercial arrangement. I mean, it's a really dingbat idea, and I think it's a bit of a concern that it's actually got through Parliament, and it's been done in a very kind of like, they push things for an urgency, and they do it in a way which avoids debate and avoids any public debate and, and John Key's very good at avoiding public debate and I think he's managed to do that again but sooner or later questions are going to have to be asked about uh, what's actually going on here. Now if it does go ahead what, what is going to happen to our existing prisons? What if nobody wants to buy them or run them? Or? Well I mean you're just setting yourself down this kind of uh, path here which um, you don't really want to go because I mean the question is, is what happens when a private prison company goes bust? One thing you can guarantee, they won't be going back to the shareholders and, and, and getting the money off them. It'll be the taxpayer who comes to the party. And the prisoners once again. go free. Well, I don't know what will happen to them, but I mean, that, that's a concern too. And I guess the question is, is that, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, we, what we should be actually looking at is um, a terrible rate of incarceration in New Zealand uh, compared to a lot of countries over the, around the world. And I think uh, we have to actually ask ourselves, we're actually planning in this country for young people to be imprisoned, and that's what we're doing. And I think that if we get the um, private uh, system involved, I think it's going to make it even worse. Victor Bello, thanks very much for your time. Thank you. After the break on Nine Local News, we get to know some of our international...